Welcome to LVMTG. Today I've got some excitement. I found a deck at my local game store. Widowmaker from Exodus, a set released in 1998. Let's see what's inside. You know I'm a sucker for classic cards. That's why when I saw this, I had to get it. It even still has the original pamphlet and book on the inside. It's a strategy guide with an excerpt from one of the novels. Let's take a peek inside. I still remember the old level system, starter, advanced, and experts. The good old days. So this is going to tell you about Exodus, some of the new features within those sets, the buyback, the listed shadow, all the theme decks that were available. A basic rules overview. And that's about it. So pretty darn neat. It's even got some classic art hidden within here. It even has the old deck list. So that's pretty darn neat. Let's see what else is inside. There we go. Look at this nice little insert on the inside. I wish they still did things like this. I don't know why they changed it and stopped doing it. But here's the deck list to our deck. Widowmaker. So let's dive into that deck and see what we get. So it looks like we've got a Dark Banishing. A Dark Banishing. A Mindless Automaton. Necrologia. This is a great draw spell if you didn't know it. Ooh, another Necrologia. A Null Brooch. This is a pretty unique artifact. Let's non blue decks counter spells at the cost of discarding your hand. And then some other weird cards. We have a Sky Shroud Vampire. I forgot back in the day they used to be called Summon Vampire and didn't say Creature slash Vampire. Oh, the classic counter spell. And we've got a Mana Leak. A Vampire Hounds, another Vampire Hounds, and another. And then some Merfolk Looters. I like Merfolk Looter a lot. You should check out my deck tech on the Pre-Modern Madness deck. It has that card featured in it. And we had a play set of those, it looks like. And then we've got a Manta Riders, another Merfolk that can gain flying. Oh, then of course that tried and true Dark Ritual. And then Rootwaller Hunter. This is a unique merfolk. You tap it, it deals one damage to target creature or player. Okay, now we're on to the shadow. We've got a Thalico Scout. It's a summon soldier with shadow. And then you can bounce it to your hand by discarding a card. And then my favorite spell of all time, Capsize. This card is busted. That buyback never made a return for a reason. Because every card with the buyback can be broken very easily. Then another unique counter spell, Forbid. It's another buyback one. It's the expense of discarding two cards. You can get this card back to your hand. Oh, we've got two of them. Nice. Then we've got some Mind Maggots with some crazy art. We have a Keeper of the Mind. It's blue, blue. Pay a blue, tap it, draw a card. Oath of Scholars. During each player's upkeep, if that player has fewer cards in hand than target opponent, that player may discard his or her hand and draw three cards. It's pretty neat. We've got some other enchantments that make us draw. Remember how overcosted effects used to be in Magic? There we go, my favorite, Diabolic Edict. And then it looks like, ooh, we've got some of the nice old lands here. Before they had the huge mana symbol on them. Some islands. And that looks like it's about it. Uh, let me know if you all enjoyed me diving into one of these classic decks that's older than 20 years old. And if you like this content, please subscribe and check out my latest on LVMTG. In the meantime, bye bye and take care.